This is going to be a very short video on how to use the burette, filling it, and then dispensing a chemical out of it and measuring the amount that you dispense. So we have the burette here on the burette clamp, and the first thing you always want to do is make sure that it's closed. So this perpendicular to the burette is closed, so that you need to do before adding anything, otherwise it's just going to shoot right through and spill all over the place. So to fill it, you're going to take a glass funnel and pour in whatever chemical you want. In this case, it's just water. Now, don't pour too fast, otherwise it will fill up and run out the sides. So after you get close to the funnel, you need to start lifting the funnel a little bit so that you can see uh, where it is. Now, say for example, you shoot past the numbers on the burette, then you just have to uh, drain it so that it falls back in the range. So there we go, we drained it back down so that the meniscus of the water here is falling in the graduation range of the burette. So looking at this then, what we can see is we see the meniscus here and the bottom of the meniscus actually falls at about 0 0.21. Now, the thing to remember is that a barrette is reverse graduated, which means that the zero is at the top and the numbers get larger as you go down. The reason why it is done that way is so that you can subtract the initial number from your final number to find out how much volume has been dispensed. So, we need to remember 0 0.2 or yeah, 0 0.21 as our starting volume. Now, if we were to dispense some of this out, and let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we stop there. And looking at the meniscus now, I see that it's 1.90 as the volume that is being measured here. So you're going to take 1.90 minus 0 0.21 and that then gives you the amount that has been dispensed out. One thing to remember about this when you're dispensing the chemicals is not to go below the 25 on the burette because there's no more graduations and you don't know how much, is, how much has been dispensed. So always stay within the graduation range between zero and 25 and just remember what you do to find the volume that's dispensed is take your final number, which in this case is, again, is 1.90, and subtract your initial number of 0 0.21 from that to give you your overall volume dispensed.